Stacey Fernandez after hitting a grand slam. Contra Costa College Athletic Department is more than fields, courts, a track, and balls. College philosophy on athletics, Contra Costa College is committed to promoting academic excellence for all students. Holding to its commitment, the faculty and staff support the provision of academic services. These services considered essential to the academic success of student athletes and attain their goals. Academic success by student athletes is considered more important and valuable to the college than winning records for competitive teams. Thus, the latter may be sacrificed if former is in jeopardy. We are student services, academic success, student athletes, alumni, employees, and we earn degrees, certificates, and matriculate. Contra Costa College athletes apply to our institution, take assessments, meet with counselors, apply for financial aid, seek out DSPS, EOPS, and utilize admission and records personnel to reach their goals and dreams. I am the Athletic Compliance Officer for the district. Um, I work in admissions and records. And so my job is to review the student athletes' files to make sure that they are eligible to compete in sports, meaning they must be enrolled in full-time students. They also have to complete 24 units with a 2.0 in between seasons. And they have to maintain that 12 units throughout the semester that they're competing. Also, if they're getting ready to transfer and they've been offered a scholarship, many times they have to have an associate's degree to be eligible. So I also evaluate their records to see if they're eligible for an associate's degree, work with the transfer institution to provide them that information and ensure that they you know, start their career at the next level in an easy way. Student athletes must fill out an eligibility form and are provided training of the student athlete handbook and code of conduct via PowerPoint presentation. Our students enroll in English, Mathematics, Psychology, Culinary Arts, Automotive, Science, Computer Literacy, Early Childhood Education, Drama, Art, Music, Business, Ethnic Studies, and more courses throughout the academic year. Some are former student athletes are now employees of Contra Costa College. Uh, what does being a coach at Contra Costa College mean to you now? It means a lot. I mean, you know, just being someone who grew up in the community, attended local schools, um, and was here. I played on the basketball team here, played golf here. Uh, and also was editor of the student newspaper. You know, it means a lot to, to, to still be here. This is my 36th year teaching journalism and my 30th year as head coach of women's basketball, and every year has been great. I learn as much as the players do um, coaching here. You know, there's a lot of challenges um, and just, just a lot of things to overcome that are for our students and our players. A lot, of, a lot of obstacles for them and um, so it's just fun working with them, helping them, seeing them become successful. Um, not necessarily winning basketball games but being successful in life and um, having good lives and contributing to society and, and that, that is what has been the most fun for me. But, uh, but it, you know it's hard to, it's, it's to kind of narrow it down to one or two things but just being here on this campus every day, I love this campus, being in this atmosphere where students are supported. We have great student services on campus. We have uh, great college administrators. John Wade, our athletic director, does a great job. He gets to know almost all the athletes personally, the student athletes. Um, there's just so much support and, and love here that 
um, you know, it just makes it even better. To have uh, attended Contra Costa College as a student, mm -hmm. what does being a coach mean to you now? It's exciting, you know, I, I, cause then I get to, like I told you earlier, like mm -hmm. I get to share the experiences I've, I've been through, you know, mm -hmm. as a player and, and teach the kids mm -hmm. and then, you know, they learn from you and it's, mm -hmm. it's a privilege to be the coach mm -hmm. here, you know, like it's, it's, I guess, even in high school, right, it's, it's also a privilege to coach mm -hmm. young kids, to see them, like, be the best that they can be, like, mm -hmm. uh, go out there and play as a team and motivate them and, you know, push themselves. It, it applies to everyday life, pretty much, you know, so that's why I'm like, I guess, as a head coach, you get to have an impact on people. Since you've been a coach, uh, <laughs> how has being a coach impacted you? And what's been your experience? Yeah. So my experience here, it's always been like fun and and I guess rewarding. Because then like, um, you know, like it's different. That's the difference between high school and college. In high school, they get tryouts, all the kids, you know, because it's one school. And all the kids would come and then you get to pick like, okay, this is the most athletic person in, in this class or whatever. Right? But here, you get whoever comes here. It's like diverse. Like you get the diversity, and then you get to teach new beginners, and you get to teach the ones that are already seasoned volleyball players. So to have uh, attended Contra Costa College as a student, um, what does being a coach now at Contra Costa College mean to you now? Hmm. Good question. Um, when I was a student athlete here at uh, Contra Costa back in 1990, I left Contra Costa in 1990 uh, with a Division One scholarship to Eastern Washington. Uh, it was it was an opportunity to pursue my goals educationally and athletically. Uh, as as a student athlete, your goal, everyone's goal, is to be a Division One athlete, and to have that opportunity to do that because of the coaches here. Uh, Otis Allison at the time was my coach. Uh, just instilling in us a work ethic, um, a desire to be great, uh, wanting something more than what you had currently, and to focus on the big picture, and that no matter what, uh, the team was bigger than any individual. So uh, having those types of, uh, of lessons learned and taught to me it was, it was very important, and it is important to me now, as a coach, to instill those same values, same morals, same work ethic in the student athletes that I work with. Uh, not often do you have the opportunity to come back to your alma mater and, and, and give back, and give back in a way where uh, these guys can have success, uh, provide leadership, uh, be a mentor, uh, and be a role model for these young men and understanding that if, if you pursue your goals and you work hard and you dedicate yourself to it, that, that you can achieve those things. So uh, it's been of high value to me to have this, this complete experience, uh, to have been here for nine years and, and, and give back to the community in which I'm from. Since you've been a coach, uh, how has been a Contra Costa College coach impacted you and what's been your experience? Oh, wow. Uh, I started coaching uh, youth basketball in the city of Vallejo, I would say, uh, maybe in 1996, 1994, 96. And uh, I'm at the age now and I've been coaching so long now that I, I see these guys as adults now, as professionals. Um, now as a community college coach over the last, uh, I say uh, 12, 13 years, both as a head coach and assistant coach, I'm starting to see these young men who receive their degrees uh, come back and speak to our guys. And you can now see, I can now see the impact that I've had on these young men when they're here. When they're here, they don't like me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hard driven, I expect greatness, uh, I'm, it's tough, but I'm fair. And they don't understand why I'm doing it until they transfer, they leave, and then they find out what the real world's about and they can appreciate it. So when they come back to our games and they shake my hand and they congratulate us on the job that we're doing, that's when it means something. 
when you were able to impact the lives of, of these young guys, these pups, and you can see them evolve into these men and be successful, and then they pass it on. My assistant coaches, you know, who played for me, D'Angelo Mack as an assistant coach when I was here with Virgil Watson that I recruited here, and they won a conference title. Uh, Jason Maples that played for me uh, when I was here, when I first got the job, who is now, he got a scholarship, and who is now one of my assistant coaches. And you can hear, I can hear tidbits of myself when they talk to these guys, and it's just amazing to see how that whole evolution, that whole evolutionary process just unfolds right in front of your eyes. We can win games, we can lose games, but when you see that, you really can understand and recognize the impact we as coaches have on young men's lives. And it's, it's, it's very fulfilling and very satisfying and rewarding. And that's, that's why I coach. That's why I enjoy it. Hey guys, join us. Coach Alonzo Carter, head football coach here at Contra Costa College. And right now in May, this is the most exciting time of the football season for us because we're in the process of the incoming Contra Costa College high school kids that we're recruiting to come here to our school. And also the outgoing kids. We have a lot of kids that have been recruited across the country. As you can see here, I'm going through my what I call my Bible, you know, it's my recruiting book. I've had this over 12 years, and it pretty much details every school in the country from the Pac-12 to the SEC to the Big 12, wherever you want to go to school, I make that as a realistic possibility for our players, which is a big recruiting tool we use when we're recruiting players. Um, just this February, we had a, a seven Division I player sign, and we got another two or three that will sign by the end of this month and we're averaging over at least 10 players a year and that's something that we pride ourselves in going all the way back to 2012. Uh, we've, had, we've had even in 2013 we had over 16 players go Division I which was the most in California so we well Northern California so we really pride ourselves not only is winning games and championships. The process for me starts when I'm looking at them and I'm recruiting them I'm trying to figure out if they're a qualifier or a non-qualifier with the NCAA, which means they have an opportunity to graduate uh, with an AA degree. If they're a non-qualifier, they need to get the AA degree in a two-year window. If they're a qualifier, they have an opportunity to do what we call a one and done, which we've had major success, including Takaris McKinley from Kennedy of Richmond. He was a one and done. He's at UCLA. Uh, Antoine Davis from Pernod Valley High School. He was a one and done, he went to Cal, and we also had our quarterback, Jonathan Banks, which was the uh, Offensive Player of the Year, and he ended up going to Kansas State in one year. So we have players like that, and then most uh, notably uh, Malik Watson, he was a three semester kid, he was a qualifier also. He went to San Jose State, he's a Pittsburgh high grad. So we look for those type of kids so we can get those places. If they're a non-qualifier, we also have great success with those kids as well. Kids like Dominique Harrison from Tracy High School, end up at University of Oregon, graduated two and a half years, got his AA degree, he was an All-American here for us. Uh, Desmond Harrison, University of Texas, another All-American. And kids like, local kids like Trayvon Brooks, which he graduated in a year and a half. Uh, graduated from Climbers High School, came here for us, got his AA degree, and ended up going to UC Davis where he just recently graduated. So we really try to handpick people that fit our academic background, our back academic profile, so I'm able to have options for them when they're done with Contra Costa. So our graduation rate is well above 90% for our football program. So that's really important because we try to have a our team GPA when I took over was only a 1.8 GPA. And now we're up to a full point. We have 2.8 GPA with a 90 to 95% graduation rate. And that kind of just pours into my mission. You know, when I took on the job, I have 10 rules. My number one mission was to make sure our kids graduated and went on to a four year school. And that's been supported 100% by uh, Mr. John Wade, which is our current athletic director, and at the time, McKinley Williams, which was our president, you know, they gave me full support and, and, and brought me in for that very purpose. So I'm very proud to be able to go out to the local areas and focus on the kids from Richmond, El Cerrito, Pinole, Hercules, Oakland, Berkeley, all the way up to Fairfield, Vacaville. You know, we have Vallejo as well. So we, we've kind of tried to 
get the players that we know, like most, this year we have Arthur Hayes of Vallejo High School. He's a qualifier, he's one of the top recruits in the country, uh, along with Clarence Corbin from Hercules High School, uh, and then Cameron Burston from Stella Prep High School, but he lives in Vallejo. Uh, Harris Ross, he just received an offer yesterday from University of Hawaii, and he has University of Wyoming, along with Cameron Burston. He has San Jose State in Hawaii, and he has several schools from the Pac-12 to the SEC currently looking and recruiting him along with Clarence. So there's a process and it's a vibe that the players get and they feed off that positive energy just knowing if they do their academics that these opportunities will come for them like the two brothers Chibu and Chima which you diligently covered and great film on those guys and Chima's a kid from Pittsburgh High School now he's going to Washington State on the graduating on the Dean's list, and Chibu, his brother, he's going to San Diego State. So those guys were kids that came here without scholarships, looking for an opportunity to move on to the next level, and they've have they've taken advantage of that opportunity, and we're real proud of what we do, and not just with the Division I kids, but we got a lot of Division II kids. Uh, Joseph Ball trip from Berkeley High School, he's one of our D2 signing, Anthony Ledeau. I mean, we got a lot of kids that go on and, and then they come back, like some of my coaches even, Jeffrey Anderson. Jeffrey Anderson's from Dixon High School. I recruited him to play quarterback, went to Texas Southern University. He's graduated, now he's coming back coaching with me, and now he hopefully he'll get his master's degree you know, after he finished coaching. So he's a product of this program. He's a product of this system, of being able to get recruited in here and being able to get a four-year scholarship, graduate, and come back. So. We are, our, our, our data for our current graduates, because this is my sixth year here complete, we just kind of looked back and looked at all the players, not only that went here and got scholarships, but got scholarships and completed and got their degrees. It's well above 90% as well. I just had the pleasure of looking at Antoine Pickett, graduated from Florida A&M, DeAndre Haynes, um, graduated this weekend, Carvante Hill. I mean, there's a lot of our players, Rashad Hall, Demetrius Cherry, not only did he graduate from Arizona State, most recently this weekend, he just signed with the San Francisco 49ers, which he makes our second player, along with Cameron Fuller, which he's a graduate of Berkeley High School, New Mexico State, and he was also with the 49ers. So we have a lot of players that go on to four-year schools, graduate, get their degrees, and you know, it's just a pleasure, and it's just to watch the process. The process is something we enjoy. The process is something that I know I like watching these young men become men. And you know, I feel we're the best at what we do. If you do the numbers, no other school in the past four years has put more Division One players in Contra Costa College. It's an unknown thing. A lot of people don't know this. So hopefully all I say is all facts, no fluff. Just do your, do your research, see what we do, see how we're able to make dreams come true by just going through this process just making sure that you know the players have an opportunity you know here's Mel right for Arthur you know Arthur non qualified well, he's a qualifier went to Vallejo High School wasn't recruited now he got screws across the country Colorado Louisville Cal uh, all these schools are coming in recruiting him because he's a qualifier now he has a chance to chase his dream which is to be a four-year division one football player so we really, really try to make sure that the emphasis for our players is the academics because without the academics, you're not going to be able to go to a four-year school. So I'm pretty proud of the work that me and my staff has put in. We have a wonderful staff that does a great job. Our director of recruiting, uh, Alec Becklinger, he goes out and him and Jeffrey Anderson, they comb that area from the 707 area code to the 925 all the way down to 510. You know, we do a great job of just trying to get players that fit Contra Costa College football. And you know, I think the combination, as we call it, has grown. It continues to grow. There's a lot of positive things going on on this campus. You know, we have football camps that we host. Uh, Arizona State University's been here. Colorado's been here. Sacramento State, Cal. This spring we'll have USC, Oregon. All those schools come here and host satellite camps right here on our campus to service our community and make sure that the word gets out that Contra Costa College football program, in my opinion, is the number one football program in the Bay Area, hands down, probably in the state of California, because the resources that we have, unlike everybody else with all the gloss and all the fluff, we just deal with the facts. We don't deal with nothing else. 
We try to make it just what it is. We put our helmet on, which you can see, that's why that hard hat helmet stays up on the wall. We put that hard hat helmet on and we go to work. You know, we just we just build. We're building a program. Uh, we've had a lot of success for conference championships straight. Now we're moving up to the Basics Conference and have an opportunity to compete with the bigger schools, San Mateo College, San Francisco City College, Diablo Valley College, etc. So we just want to keep building what we're doing, making sure that our players graduate, making sure that our players hold a high academic standard, making sure our parents have a great character, making sure like players like Jackson Finch, which is a Dean's List student, is 3.0, you know, and, and get an opportunity. He's about to graduate um, next weekend, you know. So we're just trying to make sure that we continue what we do and continue to set a standard for these football players here at Contra Costa College. So as a Contra Costa College athletic trainer, mm -hmm. uh, what's your uh, role and responsibilities here? Uh, as the head athletic trainer at Contra Costa, I'm responsible for the health and safety of all of our common student athletes. Um, that can mean anything from injury prevention, emergency care, treatment of small orthopedic injuries, uh, rehabilitation, all the way to return back to full participation and follow-up of care. Um, part of my responsibilities include, um, you know, giving athletes health and nutrition advice, uh, taking them to doctor's appointments, scheduling uh, medical evaluations, uh, following up with insurance companies, um, really, we try to have a complete, comprehensive sports medicine program where we uh, ensure that the student athlete is safe and is taken care of. So how is it when uh, athletes get injured on site, like at a game? Sure, yeah, um, depends on the sport. Uh, at football, we have a team doctor on the sideline of all of our football games. Uh, we have several team doctors that we work with uh, locally in the area. Um, but when athletes get injured on site, obviously the coach refers them to me. I do an, an initial evaluation either on the court or on the field or on the sideline. Uh, then we come back to the training room, the athletic training room, and we perform a more thorough, complete evaluation. Um, at that point, I may make a decision to refer to the hospital, refer to get x-rays or MRIs, or uh, complete my evaluation and give them treatment uh, at school on campus. Uh, so oftentimes, athletes don't even have to leave campus to receive thorough medical care. Right? Um, we have a number of programs, such as our Impact Concussion Evaluation Program, where if an athlete uh, receives a concussion, we baseline test all the athletes in the preseason. We can then retest them after they've suffered a head injury and have them um, compare something to compare to diagnose whether or not they are ready to return back to participation. How does the foundation uh, support the athletics department here at Contra Costa College? The Contra Costa College Foundation has been in existence for decades and our mission is to support the programs and students and faculty here at Contra Costa College to support and partner with. So we have worked with lots of departments including the athletics department um, in a support role for a long time. We've uh, raised uh, money toward a van that the athletics department uses as, as do other departments. We have um, helped with some of the department's fundraising efforts and actually been somewhat of a, a bank, as it were, to take in those uh, resources that the department raises as we are actually a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And then we're able to write checks um, on behalf of the athletics organization to vendors and other um, folks. So we've really played um, a, a supporting role for many, many years. Um, and actually, uh, Mr. Wade has been on the Contra Costa College Foundation board for several years as well. Okay. Are there any plans uh, or future plans uh, in how the uh, foundation and the athletics department uh, 
team up and uh, function? Yeah, so I'm a new hire here at the Contra Costa College Foundation and really for the last decade there's been no staff to um, get out in the community and really raise funds for the athletics department and frankly for the whole college. So I really see my vision, um, my vision for the foundation is to uh, be a connector, a connector of ideas, connector of ideas, resources, and people um, on behalf of the students, programming, and faculty here. So I see my role as getting to know community members um, individuals, uh, elected officials, civic, civically minded individuals, uh, businesses, corporations in Contra Costa County, West County, but really the whole county, and uh, talking to those donors and understanding what they're interested in and how they want to make communities better places with philanthropy. And so my hope is, is as I develop these relationships, I come across all sorts of people who believe in education as an important lever for change in our communities. And I expect if I do this work that there will be uh, many people who believe in athletics and sports um, as a, a critical piece. Maybe they played football at their college or maybe um, they understand what a team sport can do to uh, build confidence in a young person. <clears throat> so if I can meet some of those people and at the same time understand what the needs of the athletics department are and all the departments here, I can start doing that key connecting and, and raise money, raise money for for the many really important athletic departments that, uh, athletic programs that we have here at Contra Costa College. So my vision is really to, um, to grow the foundation's uh, tentacles in the community. Um, ultimately, if we do it right, then as folks start to age, they will think of us in their estates, right? So they'll um, uh, believe that we are, um, we are worth it this college is worth it, they'll know about us, they'll have a place to go, they can come to the foundation, we can um, give them the, the pieces that they need to put the athletic department in their will. And then we're in business, so I'm really excited to be here and doing this really important work. If you would like to donate to the athletics department, get your pencil, you can go to our URL online, www.contracosta.edu backslash foundation and you can make an online donation and you can say please give this to the athletics department. So how does the uh, police services here on the Contra Costa College campus uh, support the athletics department? Well I think that what we do primarily is uh, we provide security for their events I think it's important to note that athletics department at Contra Costa College is a big support for the college because they bring in students, they help young students who are um, possibly needing discipline or whatever, this sports um, helps people have discipline in their lives. Um, it brings kids in from all over, it gives kids uh, a, a release from when they're actually uh, going through their academics in other areas and police services helps to support that by being there and, uh, like I said, providing security, uh, going and speaking to students um, about safety and security, trying to be, we have officers who go and attend meetings with them to be mentors to their, um, in certain programs that they have, and just in general providing whatever services they ask for and need to make sure that they're, um, that they are able to be successful in what they need to do and their mission at the college. Many of our students have accomplished degrees and certificates and matriculated to many of the national universities such as U of Texas, UC Berkeley, UCLA, UC Davis, UC Santa Cruz, Cal State East Bay, 
University of Oregon, University of Wyoming, Arizona State University, Washington State University, Utah State, Boise State University, University New Mexico, University of Maryland, University of Maine, Fort Kent, and many more.